Welcome back to Jenny's Kitchen. Today I'm so excited because we're going to be using something that is in season. So what do you think it is? Yes, you got it. It's pumpkin. I love pumpkin in any way, however, way. drink it, eat it. But I'm going to show you pumpkin flan. I honestly thought I was the only crazy one that would add pumpkin puree to my flan. And then I realized I start, when I searched it up, there's other people that also enjoy pumpkin in their flan as well. Not just on cake, not just in cookies. So I am so excited to show you my way. All right, so let's get started. And before we start blending all of our ingredients, which I'm gonna go over with in a minute, I want you to start boiling your water. Maybe, um, I don't know, this is, let's see. Ooh, that is 12 ounces of water because we're gonna be putting this flan in, in, in the oven, but we're gonna put it in Baño Maria. So we're just gonna have it in this really nice warm bath. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with our ingredients. Again, like I was telling you, I just pureed, I cooked pumpkins and I pureed my pumpkin, so I have it all in here. My daughter loves to make this pumpkin uh, froth for her coffee every morning, so i rather buy the pumpkins and I cook it myself. And in a matter of minutes, you have puree, so it's so easy to make. You control what's in it, there's no preservatives, you can control the salt, the sugar, whatever you wanna put. I just puree the pumpkin, nothing else, because when you start cooking or baking with it, then you can start adding whatever you want or, or whatever the recipe calls for. So, with that being said, I'm gonna be using one cup of pumpkin puree, and I'm gonna put it in my blender, okay? It goes in there, that's a whole cup of just puree, pumpkin puree. And then we're gonna be using lechera. Let's open this little can. Ooh. Let's open this can. And look at this. Oh my gosh, I just love lechera. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> I can eat it if I want to. Why does this have to be so bad for you? But oh wow. Okay. I'm just gonna lick the, <laughs> the lid. And of course. This is very, very dangerous, so don't do it at home. But I do it all the time. Okay, so you add your lechera all into your blender. And who noticed? I have a new blender. Vitamix was really nice enough to send me a blender. I guess they saw that my blender was too old, and they were really nice enough to send me a brand new blender. So I'm still, I think I already know how to use it, but I'm still so used to my other one. All right, so then this one. So again, it's a one cup of puree, pumpkin puree, one can of lechera, and I'm gonna be using four ounces of, this is cream cheese, and I use the Philadelphia. And honestly, that's the best brand. So all four ounces goes inside the blender. Before I used to do my hand mixing and, or my, my KitchenAid, and I realized it's just so easy to throw everything in the blender and you're gonna be done in a matter of minutes. So then you're gonna need four eggs. And again, we're gonna be writing this recipe on the, uh, on the section below. And there you go. Make sure that they're room temperature. It actually, they blend better if, uh, if they're at room temperature. So just take them out two hours if you, if you can, and if not, then that's okay. And now we're gonna be using the pumpkin pie spice. And if you don't have the pumpkin pie, don't worry, you can use the all spice. Um, I just prefer this one. So I'm gonna be using a half a teaspoon for this amount. And where is my cinnamon? I'm also going to be using the same amount of cinnamon. I like cinnamon stuff, so again, half a teaspoon goes in there. Now let's blend it. I'm not going to add any sugar. You could add a uh, half a cup of sugar if that's what you prefer. I'm not because the uh, lechera is already sweet for me and then just all the rest of the sugar that's already melted for me, that's enough. But uh, I mean, there's people that like their, their, their flan really, really sweet. There we go. 
Look at that beautiful color. So just play with it. Make sure that the, uh, the egg is uh, really well blended. And that's all you need. Okay, turn it off. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to melt that sugar so you can make that beautiful caramelized. And I'm gonna show you what I do different from the rest. All right, follow me. All right, guys, now I am gonna be caramelizing my sugar and this is one cup total that we are just going to be melting. Make sure that uh, your pan's already hot when you start adding your sugar. That way it starts melting right away. But do not step away because the sugar will burn and it will burn fast. So the difference that I was telling you what I do with my sugar is I'm gonna add some of the spice, which is this one here, because I, even though I, I put it into my flan, let me see, I'm gonna have somebody else help me open it because I can't do it with one hand. All right, so now I'm gonna be just using probably, this is gonna be half a teaspoon right there, right there. Okay, just, just a dash, just a pinch, because you want to also flavor your sugar. Just mix it all around. Ooh. So just mix it all around until it just melts. And if you see, look at the, look at the, uh, the flame. I don't have it too high, I don't have it too low, because I don't wanna burn this. getting there all right so just let it melt and I'm gonna show you in a bit all right so look at this this is what you want you want it the beautiful caramel liquidy sugar and that's what you're gonna drizzle all over your pan all right let's turn this off all right guys I am done drizzling it here and this is what you want starts getting really really hard right away so you just bring it over here because I'm going to add my pumpkin flan I just add it so you can hear already the uh, the uh, the sugar cracking look how pretty that color is I just love it and there you go wow that is the exact measurement to my little small pan and i thought it was way too small but there you go all right so now i'm done pouring all of my flan and now i'm going to be using this pan because it's round it's almost flat and it's just perfect for the baño maria so this is what i do first i transfer this carefully in here and then my boiling water, now you're gonna add it to the side. Be very, very careful if you can, just move this to the very edge because you don't want to add water into your flan because then you will dilute it. So just carefully fill up as much as you can, just like that, beautiful, okay? So now it's ready for the oven. All right, so transfer it into the oven and very, very carefully, because you don't want water spilling. Put it in. All right, this is ready. And we are going to let it rest for a good uh, 20 minutes. And let's pull it out of the water and we are going to let it rest uh just cool off so now we're going to separate it from just the edges and then we're going to refrigerate for four hours and now it is the time of truth we want to see how beautiful this came out Oh my God, look at that. This is beautiful. Look at that. 
And look at all that pumpkin smell. Oh my gosh. Four hours have passed and look at this beauty. This is such a beautiful dessert. It's flung with pumpkin and oh my gosh, it's like Halloween in Mexico. <laughs> this is such a beautiful dessert. I, I, you can even smell it, it's so good. All right guys, well, I hope you'll enjoy this video and don't forget to give me that subscribe and that like. Bye.